enjoy today. Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so happy this morning. Honestly, I am super happy. So good morning and I want to guys I want to show you the gas field this morning. We just woke up a few minutes ago. I've just been busy cleaning up. I want to prepare uh, breakfast. It's just me and Jesse in the house giving food. And then and then I'll now show you Jasu. I know you guys are wanting to see Jasu ever since his illness, his sickness. So I'm going to show you guys, okay? And but now just follow me on while I do some certain things, prepare his heart, um, feed him, bath him. Then before I now officially show you Jasu, okay? This boy will not let me rest. Every time he's always going to that rubber, opening it and putting dirty stuff inside it. So since he's going to be indoors, he's not going to wear these clothes. Okay. So let me quickly prepare his arm so that it will be cooling down. But while he has his bath, he have his bath. I mean, in English that I'm going for. them that you're a big boy okay and that you don't cry five mil show them you're a big boy show them you're a big boy oh yeah oh so my boy he's a big boy Let them sleep. Oh. Uh, take. Uh, take this one. Take this one. I'll give you. I'll leave you. Uh, See what is left of the account. So, guys, I just finished having my bath and <laughs> I decided to come discuss with you people. Okay. So, if you just see me, us for the first time, hi, hello, you're welcome. Please subscribe. Okay. Hit that red subscribe button to join the family proper. We have. This family, we have an amazing people like in this family. All the people in this family are so amazing, super caring, super loving, super supportive. Okay, you guys are too much. 
So, look at Jasper. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't gone on Bumala Yishi at Bumala. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever our kids get sick like this, we tend to do so many st stupid, stupid things. Honestly, I didn't know how I was feeling that day. It was too much. I just said, eh? Guinea. In fact, I used this all. Bagam, 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 and I trimmed everything down. So, without wasting much of your time, Daddy, wait. Daddy, stop making noise. Today is December 11th, and if you've been following me, you know what this date means to me. Um, this day, December 11th, I lost my first daughter. <laughs> Two years ago, 2018. In fact, 2018 was the worst year of my life. I lost my father, January. Why we were all crying, you know? January 2018, why we were all devastated and crying. My mom was so unhappy. And my first daughter used to be my mom's favorite granddaughter. So, uh, while we were all crying about my dad's death, I was just trying to encourage my mom, trying to be everything for her, you know. Then, December of that same year, 11th, today, gone go. <laughs> By this time, we are running around from one hospital to the other, you know. In fact, and she died. She died. So, um, what made me film this video is that I said I won't cry this time around. Last year when I cried so much, this time I'm not going to cry. So, what made me film this video was somehow I was scrolling through my Kura feed a few days ago. And then I came across a post where somebody was asking that if you have uh, five children and one is late, and somebody asks you, how many children do you have? Will, are you going to say four or are you going to say five? You know? And somebody kind of replied saying that that's exactly the same situation that he, he, he is in, as in he has found himself so many times. That so many times when people ask him, how many children do you have? He tend to say four because even though one is late, he tend to say four. Yeah, that he feels that when if he doesn't say four, that he's probably not taking that one. Uh, serious, I probably counting that one out uh, as his, as one of his kids. Honestly, I felt that same way. Most times, when people ask me, "How many kids do you have?" Sometimes, it just lately that I started saying two. Before I used to say three. They're like, "Okay, okay, three kids, wow." And then when they're like, "Where's the third one?" I'm like, "Okay, she's sleeping." <laughs> She's sleeping and like, okay, okay, when she wakes up, greet her for me, okay? And they don't know that what I mean that she's sleeping in death, like... And I'm going to see her again. I know it's not final, final. I have hope of seeing her again. But then... Sometimes it feels so... It feels so... I don't know how to explain it. I just don't know how to explain it. If you've ever lost a child, see... It is not something I wish on my enemies, honestly. And... I lost her at the time when I was pregnant with my son when I lost her. I was three months pregnant. And you don't know how strong that girl used to make me feel. She, those times, she would, because whenever I'm pregnant, because whenever I'm pregnant, I get so sick. I get so, so sick that I'll be throwing up, I'll be spitting, I'll be, you know, a whole lot of, pregnancy stuff i'll be doing a lot of them and she was super active that period she she was four years then she would go and get she was a few months older than elena now so that time she'll go and bring that cup for me i'll be spitting inside the cup and then once it fills up she'll take it as much as she was she'll take it and go to the bathroom and go and flush it out she was just so supportive so caring so i don't know so adorable and that time she was even telling me that i'm going to have a boy like the way she was saying, my brother, my brother, mommy, you're carrying my brother, you're carrying my tata, my brother. <laughs> I didn't know I was even pregnant with a boy. So she was very, very caring and she died. <laughs> I said, I will not cry, I will not cry. So um, if you've ever lost uh, a child, I'm so sorry, okay, you have to go through that. It's not something anybody should go through, honestly. But because we're living in Satan's world, um, it is inevitable death must come. Which was why when 
my kids got sick this month again. Ha! Hey, God. <laughs> I almost lost myself. Like, I, I, I almost died self before them because I just couldn't stand and bear. Imagine holding your own child and let that and that child dies in your arm. There's nothing you can do about it. The doctors, see, eh? I don't know Nigerian doctors. Nigerian doctors, I don't know what I'll tell you people. I just don't know. Some are really good. Why? Some are Satan. You know, Ekwensu. Some are Satan. Some are really worse than Satan self. I'm telling you the truth. That woman is only God. That woman, eh? It's only God that is going to pay her back. I don't have strength. I don't have money to sue her now, or even the hospital. I just don't know anything, but all I know is that it is God that is going to pay them back. My daughter died just like that. I've shared the story of how she died. Um, in my one of my videos, the one I talked about her. Yeah. So, it is difficult to, uh, to go through this. Honestly, this is one of the most painful things anybody can experience watch your own child on ideally children when we have kids our plan is that they're going to grow up and take care of us while we are old you know and be there for us but then when that person who's supposed to be there for you when you grow old now dies before you it feels like your future is is is, is it feels like your future is just you know it feels like you don't have a future but I still thank God for every day I thank God for the two that he kept he gave me that are alive uh, Elena and Jasu, those, these two are my consolation. They are my everything. They are like without them, I wouldn't know what I'll be, what I'll become. I'm super proud of them. Even though my marriage didn't work out, even though my marriage didn't fail, <laughs> but they're the only good thing I got from this marriage. Plus their sister who is the date, but I know I'm going to see her soon. Okay, so this three. Three kids are the only good thing I got from this marriage. They are my everything. Like, <laughs> they're the only good thing that God used and consoled me. Like, don't worry, everything will be fine. You know? So, I'm not asking for millions. I didn't ask, even while doing these divorce things, I did not ask him to share what we have because I came way before we started acquiring all those things. It was my sweat. <laughs> Me and my kids' sweats that we use and acquire all those things that we have or he has now. But, but I'm not asking for those things. I don't need them. The only thing I want is to take care of my children myself. It has always been me anyway. It has always been me from the one. Any last pregnancy from zero. From the time doctor said, uh, you're slightly positive. Because that's a lab, when I did the lab test. Uh, for Elena's pregnancy, I was told that it was slightly positive. Okay, at first I was like, which one is slightly positive? That means it can it can go at any time. Is that what it means? <laughs> so from the point where I was told, congratulations, it is slightly positive. Till the day I gave birth to her, her father didn't come. <laughs> her father didn't come. It was me throughout the pregnancy, throughout the. Oh, yeah, through all the every damn thing, you know, sickness and a whole lot. It was just me till the day I gave birth to her. So, uh, so it has always been me anyway. So, yeah, I just pray God continues to protect me, continues to bless me the way he has been doing so that I can take care of them. I know that January is around the corner and that she's going to start school. I'm not afraid. I know she will go to school. God is going to provide. However, I don't know, but he's going to provide. So I have complete trust in God, and I know that I will overcome. So I know a whole lot of bad, bad things have been happening to me, and people who knew me were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they are, they've made me who I am now, okay? Um, that same year, um, I lost my father, I lost my daughter, I got pregnant with my son, okay? So I just felt like I should just come talk to you guys, bear my heart, you know, talk to you people because you are my second family, okay, and today is the 11th 
and my mom is not around nobody's around i just felt like why don't i just come talk to you people okay talk to you people because you calm me down a lot especially when i start reading your comments so just let you know that if you are a mother out there you've lost a child one way or the other whether a grown up a child or even a pregnancy for me even pregnancies are not children not a be so you've lost any my heart goes out to you okay just know that it is this whole thing now is temporary it's not going to last for too long look at the camera now look at the camera good boy good boy give them a smile <laughs> i'm twinning with my son hey daddy you don't, you don't you don't want to know what we're wearing on that okay you don't want to know you just be looking at the side <laughs> it's normal for every content creator we just beat our face wear up and then that you might even be naked down but then <laughs> yeah you're feeling me right okay cherry you're feeling me hey more <laughs> this is my rainbow baby Shabby, that's what they used to say he came after the storm okay he came after the storm it, somehow it hurts me that anita that was my first daughter's name anita didn't get to see his her baby brother and you know the former funny thing he took so much after her this is a little but let me show you anita's face okay i don't know if you can see her you see her face I'm going to insert some clips of her pictures so you're going to see you see they both they look alike daddy wait even when she's wearing a gown here if you see her like if she was wearing short I'm going to think it's just so so he is my conservation he took so much after her like so much the resemblance is too much and sometimes there are things he would do and I'll just see it in her and I'm like So I don't know, I just felt like I should talk to you people, you people. Oh. Uh if you watched up to this point, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Um honestly say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. So if you watch to this point and you haven't subscribed, uh, uh, I beg now. If not for anything, but if you're cute bubble, <laughs> subscribe. Okay. Give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you want it. Okay. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay. Say bye bye.